in this video series we want to show you how to use the gap profiles to create your own custom light fixture. The gap profiles can be cut to any size allowing you to make a fixture for under cabinet lighting, deck lighting, landscape lighting, cove lighting, just about anywhere that you can possibly think of to use it uh, you can create a fixture for it and the aluminum profile gives you the ability to protect your LED strip as well as to uh, hide it and make it easy if you have it in an area that can collect dust and you need to clean it. There's going to be several extrusions to pick from. We've got our most popular which is our gap 001, 002 which is this one here, the gap 004 and then the gap 005. Within these extrusions there's going to be uh, several ways that you can cut uh, them. They're each going to be different slightly um, in that the gap 001 and the gap 004 are going to have a 3 8 inch projection going inward on the profile for the end cap whereas all of the other profiles are flush uh, which means that you can cut the profile with the cover in it and you don't have to allow for any spacing the cover will be flush with the edge of the aluminum profile itself now in the case of the gap 001 and with the gap 004 you're going to have to account for this 3 8 of an inch as this end cap slides inside. And so now we need to allow 3 8 of an inch shorten it, to shorten our cover. And we're going to show you actually a really quick trick uh, that's going to be easy to do with an item that you'll already have when you do your installation. So in order to do that, we're going to insert the cap into one end of our profile. And then we're going to take our cover and we're going to get ready to insert our cover into this extrusion. But what you're going to do is you're going to take one of your barrel connectors. The barrel connector has a green portion on it that's exactly 3 8 by 3 8 of an inch square. You'll be able to insert that directly into your profile. And then you'll insert your cover and slide it tight right up against the green portion of that barrel connector and then snap it in place. Now you've allowed for the 3 8 of an inch for the end cap that's going to go in on this side. So when you cut your end cap, you're going to cut your end cap flush with the edge of your profile. Then you'll be able to remove it, apply your LED uh, lighting, which we're going to show you how to do in a moment, snap your cover in, you'll be able then to take your other end cap, slide it in, and now you have a complete fixture that's custom made for your application. So now we're going to go ahead and get set up and we're going to show you how to install, cut, and assemble your complete fixture. Now that we have our aluminum profile uh, all set up and now we just need to cut it to size, we're going to go ahead and use a piece of blue painters tape. We're going to place the painters tape on our profile, wrapping it around nice and tight. Now that gives you a clear place where you can mark with your pen and then you can put this on your miter box, you can cut this piece and it will keep your plastic cover from tearing out or coming loose and cracking. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the workshop, we're going to show you how to measure, cut and then uh, install, we'll come back to the table here and install the LED strip light. Now as we explained just a moment ago, we used our barrel connector as a spacer for our end cap for our gap 001 extrusion and we're now getting ready to measure and cut the profile. So we're going to use the blue tape, we're going to measure our extrusion and we're, we want to cut this extrusion at 10 inches long. So we're going to go ahead and mark that and now our tape will keep uh, the extrusion cover from cracking or breaking while we're cutting it. So we're now going to take it over to our miter box, we're going to cut it and then show you how we can slide this down and now the space will be there for um, our additional end cap that we're going to put in to this profile. So let's go over to the miter box now. Now in order to make this cut, we're going to use a scrap piece of 2x4 material as a backer. We're going to place our extrusion on our miter box where we can clearly see our marked line. You're going to line up your blade. Now you want to make sure that you use a blade with a high number of teeth and these are carbide bit uh, or carbide tooth blades. 
We're going to go ahead and let the saw rev up to full speed and then we're going to slowly cut through the extrusion. Now we're ready to go. We'll see you back at the workbench. Now we're back at the workbench here. We've removed the blue tape off the end of our extrusion. We've got our cover, which we pulled back off. You want to take a rag and make sure you clean out any of the debris or dust that may have gotten in there from cutting it. Just so you make sure that your tape uh, from your uh, strip sticks in there appropriately. Now we want to test fit our cover. So you make sure that snaps in place and now you can see that our end cap slides on the end and you have a nice tight custom look. You're now ready to go ahead and insert your LED strip which we're going to show you how to do that now. Now that we're ready to install our LED strip light into our aluminum pro profile we want to show you just a few ways that you can connect your light uh, to make the installation uh, go very easy for you. Now we have a solder on connector and the solder on connector allows us to plug the wires directly into uh, the end of the strip and you can view our solder on connector video uh, for complete instructions on how to attach this particular connector. Another option that we have is to solder the wires directly onto the end of our strip and then you can use a piece of shrink tubing to go up over the top of it and then uh, seal that off. And then when you place that in, you'll have your wire coming out. An additional option is if you use a female connector, which uh, we have these on our accessories page of our website, and you can then strip back uh, and cut it to the appropriate length that you want, and then you can plug your power supply either directly into the end or you can plug a female barrel connector into the end and extend the leads out to wherever you'd like them to go. At this time we're going to show you now how to apply a strip and if you're going to be building more than one fixture and the fixtures are going to be going end to end uh, in a larger installation perhaps like through a kitchen under cabinet lighting or over cabinet lighting you may want to uh, have a, a end cap with a hole at each end of your extrusion as opposed to a terminating end cap which has no hole in it. So in this installation we're going to show you how to use uh, two end caps. So we're going to insert our first end cap and then we're going to go ahead and peel back our adhesive backing from our strip and then we're going to go ahead and place that inside of our aluminum profile making sure that our end cap clears on both ends like so. So now we're going to add our wire. So in one case here we're going to show you how to use the female connector and we're going to go ahead and fish the wires through our end cap. We're going to connect them into the end of our barrel or into our solder on connector on this side and then on the other end we're going to go ahead and just run two connections wires in to that same solder on connector creating a double sided fixture. An important thing to remember is that when you're installing your wire into your solder on connector you want to make sure that you have your polarity correct so that you don't have to disassemble your light fixture. It's easy when you're using your connection wire because it's uh, coated with red and black for positive and for negative but when using your a uh, female connector or a male barrel connector, it may get a little confusing. There are markings on these wires, but they may be hard to see for some. So what you want to do is you want to test the polarity first. So what you can do is you can plug it into a power supply and then you notice now it's not lighting up. So what we're going to do is flip it around and test it. And now we know that we have our polarity correct. So we'll go ahead then and proceed by installing it into our strip. We're going to unplug the power source. 
we're going to take our end cap that has the hole in it and we're going to pa pass the wire through. We're going to make sure that we have no stray wires sticking out so we've got them nice and tight. And then we're going to take a little screwdriver with a solder on connector and we're going to press the wire in on each side. Press the wire in on each side. And then prior to putting the end cap on, we're now going to test it for polarity again. Now that we know it works, we can slide our end cap up. We can take our cover, snap it in place, and now we have a complete light fixture that can be installed and is ready to go. Now there's a couple different ways that you can install your light fixture. And uh, for some, the preferred method is to use the mounting clips. It's a metal mounting clip. You can actually bend this in a little bit if you want to adjust the tension. And then once you install it with a screw, then your light strip will just snap right into the, to the clip like that. An additional way you can do it is to use double-sided adhesive or silicone, and then you'll have a nice uh, clean installation as well. So now you're ready to go. You can go ahead and cut your profiles to size. Now you have the tools to do it, and we look forward to seeing pictures of your project.